Hiller's baseball took on Greater New Bedford at the beautiful Veterans Memorial Stadium at Rockland High School. The winner of this game would move on to the Division II South Sectional Championship. Top of the third, Greater New Bedford leading Hopkinton 2 to nothing at the time. Steve Simos makes some noise. And he hits this one over to right center field and that's going to drop in a deep center field. Coming around second and around third is the first Hillers run. It is an RBI double for Simos. And he's showing off that power there, two to one. No more runs would score until the top of the six when Zach Sasitsky struck. Over at first, and the runner taking off. And this is chopped into center field. That's going to drop. Game tying run has scored. It's two to two. An RBI single for Sasitsky. A good piece of hitting there. Hebert comes around to score. The pinch runner for Reynolds. The run tied the game at two apiece, and it stayed tied for quite a while. Top of the seventh, Hillers have bases juiced with no outs. Jake LeBlanc at the plate. And he will get a piece of this one right to the shortstop and over to second base. Oh, no. And they're going to say he got there in time. I don't agree with that one. No run score on the play. This is huge for the Bears. So that ended up being I believe a six unassisted double play. Six U for those scoring at home. He hits in to the rare double play, and then after that, Dawson McMillan strikes out, and Greater New Bedford collectively breathes a sigh of relief. Bottom of the eighth, Greater New Bedford has two outs and two on. Could they capitalize? Hit in the air, right field, and it is going to be caught! By Brett McIntyre, had to cover a lot of ground to get there, but he does. And the Hillers live to see another inning. No, they couldn't. Brett McIntyre makes a great play to keep the game tied at two. Top of the ninth, Steve Simos hits a bomb. Simos gets a piece of this one over to center field. And that is going to drop towards that deep, deep fence. Around first, over to second, heading to third. The throw in cut off. It's a triple for Steven Simos. The pitcher, Tyler Aruda, then gives Alex Reynolds an intentional walk to bring up Jake LeBlanc. Could LeBlanc make him regret the decision? And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop, throw to first, and they get him. Six to three goes LeBlanc, and it will remain two to two heading to the bottom of the ninth. Bottom of the ninth, Tyler Aruda at the plate with two on. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to right field, and that is going to drop in. Lead runner is going to try to score the game winning run, and he will. Greater New Bedford will advance as they walk off with the 3-2 victory. He gets the base hit to drive in James Estrella and it's heartbreak for the Hillers as Greater New Bedford gets the 3-2 nine inning victory and advances on. In the next round, Greater New Bedford beat Westwood to advance to take on Danvers in the Division II title game. The Hillers baseball team finishes their incredible season with 14 wins and nine losses.